They seem so good, so reliable, so trustworthy, until something snaps. For some reason, we in the Christian movement have somehow gotten the ideal that if they become a bishop or a cardinal or a pope or a megachurch pastor or a deacon or an elder, that they no longer sin. It's just not true. <laughs> it brings down people and organizations, relationships and marriages, the common person and the high and mighty. Everybody sins, everybody needs grace, everybody needs encouragement someday or another. And nobody knows what their temptations are going to be 10 years from now. When I was 40, I never dreamed I would have the temptations I had when I was 50 that led to the scandal. 